Welcome back to Extra 3D Printing. Today, we're changing the nozzle on the Anchor Make M5. Now, before we get started, I am not responsible for any damage you cause to your machine. I'm just hoping that I don't damage my own machine during this process. I am following the Anchor's official guide video for removing the nozzle, but you can also check out another helpful video over on the Print House YouTube channel. They just released a nozzle changing video as well. So let's jump into this process and see how it goes. All right, here we are about ready to change the nozzle. Now, one thing before doing anything with the nozzle is you don't want to force anything. If it's not moving easily, stop and don't try to force it. And we'll figure out another way to do it. So to start this off right now, we're gonna just go like Anchor Make shows it where you can just grab the nozzle from here and undo it. And then if that doesn't work and if it's too tight, then we'll take off the housing and make sure to secure the hot end with some pliers before twisting it too far. So let's go ahead and go through this first. So the first thing we need to do is just make sure our printer is raised up high enough that we can get underneath comfortably. So we'll go ahead and do that. So now we're up pretty high. So what we also need to do is we need to preheat the nozzle. So the increment guide tells us to preheat to 180, so that one's good there. And I'm just gonna turn down the hotbed. We don't need the hotbed to turn up. So right now it's at 25, we'll just have it stay at 25 so we don't burn ourselves accidentally. So let's go ahead and start preheating the nozzle. What this will do is it will loosen up the hot end because metal expands when it gets warm. So that'll help us hopefully loosen the nozzle. Now while that's preheating, in the Anchor Make Toolkit, with the Allen key set is this bit here. This comes in the, the big slot here. And this is a six millimeter hex, which fits nozzles well. Now, off the bat, mine didn't fit nozzles very well. It was pretty tight and they didn't go in very far, but just with some like pushing and some hard wiggling around, I got it to loosen up so that it fits nozzles normally now. So that is the tool that we'll be using, is this hex bit with the included Allen key set. All right, one thing that we also need to do is make sure our filament is unloaded. So we're actually going to come out of the preheat and we're going to retract our filament. So it'll just heat up a little bit more and then we should be able to retract our filament. Okay, it's retracting. Now our filament is clear, we can just pull it out a little bit. We don't have to take it all the way out, just enough to get it out of the nozzle. And now we're ready to attempt to grab the nozzle. So let's just go back to preheat and just keep it preheated. And let's go ahead and try this out. So we'll stick on this hex key. Now there's some gunk on the nozzle which may not help us get this on. Uh, let's see, which way did we go? So we need to twist it like this, and it should just loosen up right away. So let's just go a little bit of pressure. Okay, yep, it's not. Yep, it's not budging, so I'm not gonna go too much harder than that. So let's move on and we'll take off this cover so that we can just grab the hot end to make sure it doesn't move too much. So let's do that now. Okay, now we've got the shroud off. We should be able to clamp onto the hot end just to keep it secure. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I've got these jaw clamp uh, pliers that have the adjustable width. So we'll be using those. And also now that we're sticking metal into electronics, just be careful not to touch anything. So what we're gonna do is make sure that these clamps are on the wider setting and we'll have our uh, key ready. And we're just gonna grab the top of the nozzle or the hot end gently not too hard, gently, and then we'll just 
make sure that we don't bend anything. All right, there we go. So our nozzle is free. So we'll just go all the way out with our nozzle and obviously be careful because the nozzle is very hot. And also this part's hot because the nozzle has been touching it and it's also metal. Keep going all the way out. There we go. And our nozzle still has a bunch of filament in it. Actually, I just kind of pulled on the, on the filament and it came out most of the way. So again, be careful with the nozzle, it's hot. So we can grab it with our pliers and get it out of our hex key, hopefully. All right, there we go. Got the nozzle out of the hex key. So we'll set that aside. It's still a perfectly viable nozzle. But now let's just go to a bigger nozzle. So since we'll be printing with wood PLA soon, we just need to go to a bigger nozzle. It says bigger than 0.6. I don't know if that means 0.6 and above, or if that means 0.8, but I'm thinking I'm just going to go straight to 0.8. So let's do that. So we'll get our hex bit again, make sure it doesn't burn you, and then we'll put the nozzle in the bit, which hopefully fits. There we go. And we'll just do the exact opposite. Make sure to be aware of any cross-threading like that. That almost cross-threaded. There we go. It should go in easily. So if it's stopping there, so I'll just go a little bit more. A little bit more snug. And there we go. So let's wiggle that off. There we go. Now our nozzle is 0.8. And I don't think I damaged anything. So let's put the cover back on. All right, there we go. Our nozzle has been changed. So now that we have the new nozzle on it, the tips of the nozzles are a little bit different. So we're going to go ahead and run a homing uh, cycle. That's not the button, this button. So we need to home the Z axis because the tip of the nozzle is flatter on this new nozzle. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, there we go. Now our nozzle is changed and our settings are homed. So one quick note is if this doesn't work, you can find a like a ratchet bit or something like that. That's the hex key with the with the right size to help with the nozzle. Uh, mine, like I said, mine didn't fit very well the first time, uh, but you can find something of the same size and try it with that. And if it doesn't work, just kind of keep trying. Um, that's kind of what I did with this is I just had to kind of push it a little bit more to get it in here And then like I mentioned don't force anything and Just be gentle with it. All right, there we have it a successful nozzle change with the anchor make m5 If you have any questions Let me know down in the comments below and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability And make sure to hit that subscribe button because future videos with this new nozzle will be pretty cool So until the next one catch you later